we're on our way to Helena, Montana to pick up another car from Copart. Right now we're just trying to figure out what this car might be. So far we've managed to come up with, it's probably an all-wheel drive car with a retail price of up to $17,000. Has a body on frame and it has estimated 380 horsepower. 300, yeah. 70 to 380 yeah. horsepower. Somewhere around there. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we've figured out so far. Uh, one more clue as to what this vehicle might be is that it's a 2011, whatever it is, 2011 with a retail price of $17,000. Um, <clears throat> body on frame. 370 horsepower, probably all-wheel drive, runs and drives, what could it be? So we're at Copart now, this is your last chance to guess what we're picking up today. Again, the clues are, it's a 2011, all-wheel drive, 370 horsepower, uh, retail price of $17,000, uh, body on frame, let us know in the comments what you think it might be. <laughs> Just see like a cab, maybe. I don't think so. No, it's the truck. These guys are gonna joust. They're forks. Bam! Mm -hmm. I win! <laughs> there it is. That's it? That's it. <laughs> I thought you just said no. I know, I did. Nice. So it's black. I didn't even know. Oh. This is the TRD too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's cool. Right? Oh, uh, dude, we're going. We're yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. Awesome. A little dirty, got some hair. It is a little dirty. Oh, quite dirty. <laughs> Good thing we're not driving at home. Oh yeah, so we're gonna drive it? Yeah. So who's driving your car? We're gonna put it on the trailer. Oh, we are driving this? Yeah. But on the trailer? Yeah. Oh, but okay. We're putting the trailer on this, we're gonna talk on the trailer. Oh, that's what you're doing. But we're gonna get out of town first. Oh. Yeah. Well, why don't we just do that here? I don't wanna put that on them. I see.
Yeah, this is the V8, so that's cool. Yeah. Three hundred seventy horsepower, huh? It was something like that. Wow. One hundred and forty thousand miles. Really? Yeah. Maybe almost one hundred and fifty. Yeah, we're good on. Are these twin cam head V8? Uh, it kind of looks like a dual overhead. Cam. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Dual overhead cam V8. That's insane. <clears throat> Yeah. Shampoo in and how much you think? What? I spent. Four? Sixty five. Sixty five? Yeah. Really? But you say yeah, these retail for seventeen I, still, so huh? I they really hold their value. I won the bid at fifty two. Okay. So So this is a 2011 Toyota TRD with the 5.7 iForce V8. <clears throat> Four wheel drive. Tires don't look too bad. I said it drives. He's not driving? He's not moving at all. I don't know what he means by driving then. Especially for that price, you expect it to drive. It's not spinning down there at all.
Uh oh. They literally just told us it drives. You know the start? Drive. Okay. No oil pan, that means it wasn't running when they got it. With no oil pan? Yeah, there's no transmission pan on it. Transmission pan or oil pan? Transmission there's no transmission pan. pan. Okay. All the wires are showing, all the... So that it couldn't have moved under its own... No. That's probably it right there, huh? Too far. And that way. It's gotta come that way a little bit. Is it gonna fit on the trailer? Oh, that's a problem. Pull the ramp. Pull the ramp, so he says. I don't know that's the way they're supposed to be used, but I guess it's going to work. So they're saying this moved under its own power when they got it. It was advertised as a running driving vehicle. Paid $5,500 for it. Yeah. How much? I think we got fucked. On this one. $5,500. Okay. How much did we pay $500 for this? 55 oh, $5,500. $6,500. $6,500. $6, Wow, that sucks. So we're climbing McDonald Pass right now. Calling the Toyota. Going 15 miles an hour. Yep, first gear. It's gonna be a while before we get home. What do you guys think about
about this bike. Was this a good purchase for $6,500? Uh, 2011 Toyota TRD uh, Tacoma pickup with uh, Tundra. Tundra, yeah, with uh, missing transmit or transmission pan. Um, let us know in the comments what you think. Would you buy a car from Copart? 